Man, I can already tell. I can already tell. That is the kids say, I'm gonna have to simp. Right? For who? The women. Again. Oh, boy. Well, you're gonna... It's gonna be a yeoman's effort from you, I feel. Listen, everybody. Mm. Was that segment with Saray last night great? No. 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 It was not. Okay. No. She even tweeted today that it wasn't great. No. What did she say She's right. Sheree admits she may have been, quote, a little rusty during her appearance on AEW Dynamite. After making her debut at Grand Slam, Sheree cut a promo on this week's show leading to the title match between Tony Storm and Serena Deeb. She posted to social media on Thursday, stating she is proud of the segment for showcasing, quote, a good portion of the women's division, even if it was not her best performance. On a good note, she said, I'm so proud of the women yesterday. Not only did they get more than five minutes to have a match, it was the first ever Lumberjack match. A woman on commentary and a good portion of the roster being showcased. That's a win, even if I was a little rusty. Now, let's just start with that, then we'll talk about the full show in the next segment. Because i got a couple things to say. First off, did it make any sense to have a Lumberjack match last night? No. Of course not. Now, I'm going to pull a Dave here, okay? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you why I think they did a Lumberjack match, okay? This is not me defending. Do you understand? This is not me defending the Lumberjack match. This is me telling you why I think they did it, okay? As I pointed out, if you look at the quarters, when they were just doing a random one-on-one women's match in the death segment, it died every week, okay? So they finally decided, and this did not have to do with me, but we all recognize it. We all talked about it here on this show. They finally decided, you know what? We should actually try something with these women. And so they began doing tag matches with what they believed were the biggest stars in the first hour. And you know what? It did better. And every time they did a tag match... A multi-woman match in the first hour. It did way better than when they did a random one-on-one singles match in the second hour. I I hate to quote CM Punk of all people these days, but stop me when I'm lying, okay? That's what happened. You can look at the quarters. So I think the reason, I'm not defending it because in storyline, why would you have a lumberjack match? But the reason they booked a Lumberjack match, the reason Tony Khan put a Lumberjack match on television was because he looks at the quarters and segments with a large number of women have been doing better. That's why he did it. Now, was there any storyline? No, of course not. Why would we have a... Why is there a Lumberjack? I don't know, okay? Was Soraya's promo great? No. She even... At one point, she was trying to say, I uh, I created a revolution there, and I'm going to create a revolution here. And instead, she said, I created a revolution here, and I will create a revolution here. She was not on her game, okay? Then, I, I'm going to hear about it. Listen, I go to the dentist four times a year. It doesn't mean I like the dentist, okay? But let's talk about Britt Baker again, because I heard all about it today. Why is Britt Baker the centerpiece? Why is Britt Baker being pushed? Why is Britt Baker all over the show? Am I the only one, Mike? Am I the only one? No, you're not. Okay. Thank you. You're not. Thank you. It's okay. I'm not saying that at any point was the women's division ever on fire in AEW, but... Am I wrong? The hottest this division has ever been was when Britt Baker was the champion. Am I wrong about that? Was it hotter when Thunder Rosa was the champion? Was it hotter now that Tony Storm is the champion? What was the hottest period of AEW? It was when Britt Baker was the champion, right? Then people yeah. go, well, they never let anyone get over. Bro, dude, Thunder Rosa beat her. And the idea was that she was going to be a huge star. She wasn't. Don't tell me they didn't try. 
We all watched the Thunder Rosa reign, okay? They did not go from Thunder Rosa back to Britt Baker. In fact, I don't know what everyone's talking about, but you can go up, stop me if I'm lying, go up and look at Britt Baker's win-loss record of late. She's been in there putting people over. Am I, am I watching a different show than everybody else? She was, uh, granted, there weren't a lot of people that talked last night, but she was by far the best talker in that entire segment last night. And everyone's like, and the other one I heard today was that we just need something different. We need to turn her baby face and Jamie Hayter can feud with her as a heel. I almost fell out of my chair. Have we forgotten Britt Baker's baby face run? You want to turn Britt Baker baby face. And you want Jamie Hayter, who last night, the fans randomly just started chanting her name at the top of her lungs. You want her to be the heel? Am I in an alternate universe here? Britt is a thousand times better as a heel. And Jamie is going to be super over as a babyface. And I know that people think, well, you know, they're back together again or whatever. Like, why are they, aren't they going to do it? Listen, first off, AW doesn't do anything quick. Obviously, Britt and Jamie are going to break up. And Jamie is going to go babyface. And she's going to be a huge star as a babyface. At least as big a star as uh, uh, AEW female can get at this point. And she's going to feud with and she's going to beat Britt Baker, right? Am I wrong? I mean, I don't know, but like, is that not obvious that's the direction we're going here? Why hasn't it happened yet? Well, I don't know. I don't know, but I do know two things, okay? Number one, number one, they take a long time to get to where they're going. Historically, am I wrong? It's going to be a while. They don't do anything quick. And the other thing I know, and I don't know if this is the reason, but based on history, this could be the reason. There have been many start and stop pushes that have resulted from something happening. Okay, whether that be remember even um, Alistair Black was talking about how, you know, uh, I was injured and that's why everything was put on hold with the House of Black for a while. But they don't talk about anybody being injured. So no fans knew that. They just thought, well, this thing starts and stops and da 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 da. -da. There's a very good chance that whatever's going on with Britt and uh, and Jamie Hayter was also going to involve Thunder Rosa, who one day showed up and said, I'm hurt. I can't wrestle now. And now she's gone, and nobody knows when she's going to be back. So there's a good chance that the reason that this began and then stopped is because they're waiting for Thunder Rosa. Just like we put this six-man title thing on hold for like a year and a half because we were waiting, and then, you know, Kenny Omega went down, and they literally waited until he came back. And then four weeks later, we have six-man champions, and then we all know how that happened. But anyway... Yeah, was this segment great? No. Was it an absolute disaster that made this the worst dynamite of all time? No. And I don't know what's going on. Well, who cares? Whatever. I've said my piece. I could rant for years. No, it was not the worst thing on the worst dynamite ever. That would be silly, but it was overbooked. You know, you go, well, why couldn't it have been? How could this have become a lumberjack match? Because at the beginning of the show, you've had... How many, how many, there were what, four matches, five matches? How many segments did you have where you talked to somebody backstage or something was going on where at the beginning of the show, you couldn't have had Penelope Ford and Britt Baker and Rebel and Jamie all beat somebody down or attempt to beat down Tony Storm before her match against Serena Deeb and Soraya's there and they do something where she's got a reason to make it a lumberjack match and she's got a reason to introduce both the rosters. I'm not going to get on her about the fact that she flubbed. Hey, it happens to everybody and it had to really suck to be out there because it was hard not to feel for her because it went on painfully for so long. But the fact that that whole segment was set up to be that way and to be so whack and have her just walk by Brit on the way out and here we go with the match, you know, that's the Booker's fault. That's whoever put it, it, put it together's fault. And that's also where two things can be true as far as I'm not blaming Britt Baker for anything, but... Britt Baker's the only person who's gotten over there as far as a women's star goes, period. 
There has been nobody else. Thunder Rosa did not get over, and who knows what exactly all the reasons are behind that, whether she was hurt, whether there was this or that, who cares? You know, Jamie Hayter is going to because partially the association with Britt Baker, and that's not Baker's fault, but it's somebody's fault that we've gone on this long now. And with the ex- and look, and I understand Chris Statlander's hurt, and that's, look, I'm not discounting that at all because I think she was going to be a big piece of the puzzle, but there has been nobody else. And at some point, there has got to be somebody else. And no matter what the excuses are, you have got to find somebody else. And right now, Tony Storm is spinning. Ruby Soho, I know she's hurt, but she was just sitting there spinning. Athena came in. People thought she was going to be the answer. I never thought she was, but she's just kind of sitting there spinning. So, yeah, you got to figure out something because you have that, and then you have a really powerful Jade that's a completely separate can of worms that you got to deal with. And Vinny is driven all the way here, and his camera's now working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. All Riveting. right. Yep, we go that way. Uh, nope, uh, wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh, the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, oh, there hey. he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.